Welcome back to the Buds in the Box YouTube channel. Before we get started, make sure you guys go check out the jersey giveaway in the description below. Today's topic, we are talking about the Tom Wilson versus the Rangers situation. It's more turned into the Capitals versus the Rangers situation. Um, we did a full recap um, yesterday, so I'll leave the card up here for you guys to go check out if you want to catch up. Um, but basically what happened was Wilson was five, fined $5,000 for ragdolling and punching a defenseless Panarin and Buchnovic. Um, and then tonight's game, uh, Wilson was not suspended. So he's playing in tonight's game. Caps versus Rangers again. And Panarin's injured. So obviously there's a lot of, you know, beef between these teams. And then the Rangers also released a statement saying it was, you know, it's not right. And it went down exactly how you thought it would, right? There was a um, hundred penalty minutes in the first period. And then obviously um, the Buchnovic cross check, which was just, I mean, we're not supporting it whatsoever. Um, and it's completely wrong. Should not be in hockey, but a, a cross check to the face by Buchnovic on Mantha and Buchnovic is now going to get suspended. This could have all been avoided if the league had suspended Tom Wilson. What do you guys think? I mean, at the end of the day, it all, it all comes back. Everything that happened today um, and in their last game all goes right back to Tom Wilson and the fact that he wasn't suspended. So the Department of Player Safety just put in, just put um, 50 or whatever, you know, 40 more guys in danger than they had to because that game, anyone could have got injured at any time that game. It's just a dangerous – like, you know, I think we've all played in games where there's just a lot of tension between two teams. And it's actually kind of like, you know, it's actually kind of not fun to go out. You know, it's, it's kind of scary at, at some points. Like, I'm sure there were guys in the dressing room before the game that did not want to play because uh, they knew what was going to go down, uh, especially because Tom Wilson was there. But if they had just handed him a suspension, given him what he deserved – a lot of that wouldn't have happened because, you know, there still would have been tension between the two teams, but it wouldn't have been as bad because Wilson wouldn't have been on the ice. So that all just comes back to not giving him a suspension. And then they just put all those guys in danger. Everyone that played in the game today was at risk, like twice as at risk as they normally would be. So. Well, yeah, I just want to play a little bit of devil's advocate with uh, yesterday's video from us and kind of, with myself from yesterday. So just, just overall looking at it, um, when you, when you put it into a different perspective, this is a, this is what, um, I don't want to like group a bunch of people together, but this is what a large viewing amount of people like people like to watch this. And I was going in yesterday, um, talking about how the marketing in, in uh, the NHL is terrible and I'm not disagreeing with myself. Uh, I think it is horrible, but, this honestly helps. This is spread across media in to so many different ways. People love this part. People think it's like, like Eric said today, like a mix of the WWE and uh, the NHL, right? And people love that. People love the fighting aspect. And then a lot of people hate it, right? So, um, and this is too far. Like, no matter what, this is too far. But to play devil's advocate, it's like at this point in time right now, um, Definitely numbers are going up for viewers. Yeah. Well, I, I, there, there's I'll that just, saying. Oh, no, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so I was going to say, you know, that saying, all publicity is good publicity. Yeah. It's kind of what this is. But anyway, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I, I was I was just going to say, you know, these boys know I'm, I'm a big fan of entertainment, especially in the NHL. You know, I'm, I always love to watch. He's just a hockey people. fan, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love to watch Connor McDavid and, and players like McKinnon and Matthews, obviously. Um, and tonight I was like trying to find any possible way to watch that game, uh, especially the first period. You know, I, I missed like the first fight and I was like, what the, what the hell? So I, I had to like scavenge through. I, my eyes were glued to that screen the first period the entire time. I did not take them off because it is like as much as I'm up here saying that it is wrong and it completely is and could have been avoided if the league suspended Tom Wilson. It caught my attention. I, I had to watch it. I couldn't take my eyes off the screen, right? It's, it, it is like, I mean, maybe potentially the NHL could have 
could have been like, yeah, don't suspend them. They're playing next game and the Rangers, no, either team doesn't have anything to lose. So, you know, try and get more viewers, you know, I mean, that, that maybe be, be a conspiracy. I don't think they would ever do that, but who knows? And, and you're completely right. It, it does bring in viewers. Um, everyone was watching this game tonight. And if they weren't watching the game, they're going to be watching the highlights right after. So. It's true. I mean, I, I missed that first fight. And then Eric, you sent me a, a snapshot of all the guys in the box. I immediately pulled up the game. I just wanted to see, you know, what happened when Tom Wilson got out of the box. Right. So you could see some guys going after him and, and whatever, but it, it is like, it's fun to watch for us, but it just shouldn't be happening because at the end of the day, everyone's in twice as much danger as they usually are. So it, it just, it's not something that should, that players should have to worry about, you know, being in a game like that. Right. It's, it's hockey. So. Yeah, it, it definitely should stay out of the game. And then, you know, going to Buchnevich's cross check, I, I can guarantee you right now, he is going to get a suspension for that game. Right. And I, I don't think so. No, I, I, I promise you he will. I don't think so because, you know, the NHL doesn't give Wilson a suspension. They're probably going to say, okay, let's, we're, we'll just give him a fine. Right. Because what a, he did wasn't nearly as bad to, as what Wilson did. Bro, a cross check what to the face. What he did wasn't nearly as bad as what Wilson did. I, I don't know. I, I think you're going to. Wilson like, put multiple, multiple guys in like severe danger. He just cross checked one guy in the face. Yeah, he might lose a couple of teeth. It, he's not going to die from getting cross checked in the face. It's still a very dangerous play in hockey, right? Like, um, yeah, it is, but he's not right going to get suspended. We'll see. I, well, we'll see, right? Like, we, you could be completely right, and they they just give him a fine. But I I think he will get suspended, and if he does, they will. I think be it's a kind of, of a backlash. tip for tat thing. It might be kind of a tip for tat thing. They but, might say, okay, we're not going to suspend him. Well, but then, for, then how inconsistent are they? Because they suspended Gostas Bear for cross-checking yeah, yeah. someone after an empty net goal into the boards. And, and, and yeah, it was pretty dangerous, but it wasn't nearly as dangerous as what Wilson did. Well, that's the thing where I agree with both of you in this. Feli is the common sense right now, and Eric is whatever the fuck's going on with NHL PR. So that's that's where we're – and whoever – George Peros and all those people, whoever fi- hands out those fines and suspensions – is Eric is more the realism because I could probably see him being suspended just just to show uh like I, like I, I it wouldn't it wouldn't make sense at all like uh, like honestly but I could I could see it happening yeah I mean if Bushnovich gets suspended and Wilson does, well, you got to remember that Wilson's a repeat offender yeah. you got to remember that what Wilson did is more dangerous it just is at the end of the day I don't know whether they didn't review it well enough or whatever but I don't think Bushnovich is a, has. I think he has a clean record. So you got to look at everything, and then put it all into perspective. Because if Bushnovich gets, you know, more than a one game suspension, there's something up with that whole player safety thing. Which yeah. very there is. weird. I I do believe. Yeah, that. I mean, there clearly is, but it's very weird. Like, not to be a conspiracy theorist or anything like that, but there is <laughs> definitely some weird stuff going on behind the scenes, like. Then today, the both Rangers owner and GM get fired. Yeah, that's also new. not saying it's related or anything, and they're saying it isn't, but it's weird. The timing of everything is just so, yeah, kind of unsettling. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, I I just think you know all eyes all eyes from the league were on this game tonight. You know, everyone was watching yeah. this game, so I I think you know it's just gonna amplify it, and and you know that's why I think Butchmich will get suspended. But you know, you're right. There also, there's definitely something going on. Go ahead. Well, just a quick shout out because I mean everyone was watching this game. Also, TJ Oshie's dad passed yeah. away yesterday, and he put up a hat trick in today's game. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. News. Some good news coming yeah. out of Washington. So at least something came out of that game, right? Yeah, and if you guys don't have any final thoughts, I guess we'll end it on a on a high note. Yeah, sure. All right, so thank you guys for watching the Buds in the Box YouTube channel. This was actually a good debate. I like this. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eric loves oh, fighting. Okay, okay NHL. <laughs> Eric's a big NHL fan. <laughs> He's a big fan. <laughs> so, um, comment um, your opinion. We'd we'd love to hear you guys in the comments, and and we'll definitely respond. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, and yeah, thank you for watching. This has been the Buds in the Box. Bye for now.